Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be reorganizing my entire makeup collection. I just wanted to start off this video sitting down, introing it purely for the fact that all of this storage that I have gotten for reorganizing my makeup collection has actually come from Shein. Now, I know a lot of people don't wanna shop on Shein purely for the fact of like everything, the controversy that is around Shein. However, a lot of the times when you are looking for storage for your makeup organized, whether it's on Amazon, whether it's in like say B&M, you're still paying five or six quid for all the storage and I just think it is just ridiculous for plastic. So I went and had a look on Shein and I found all of this storage containers for I think it was 18 euro for 18 units or maybe like 20 euro for 18 units so it's a really really good price and I just thought I would share it with you at the beginning of this video I will leave a link down below to the set that I got you can get different sizes of it you can get a 10 piece set an 18 piece set or I think the other one was like a 26 piece set but you're paying just over a euro for each component which i think is so much better including like the big ones at the bottom for storage whether you use it for makeup whether you use it for skincare whether you use it for jewelry whether you use it for you know cutlery whether whatever you use for i just think over euro is such a good price to have storage containers at so that's why i want to show you but i just want to show you what it comes with before we actually get into the video so the first thing that it comes with is all these little kind of like pots um, as you can see, they all are kind of like smaller pots. You can probably use these for jewelry actually, they'd be really nice. Or like bobbins or something like that. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And all these have like silicone bases, so it's not good. they're not gonna move in your drawers. Then the next thing that it comes with is I think the same. Yeah, six of these kind of like medium sized containers units again i think these are going to be so handy you can use them for lip liners mascaras and things like that so that's the size difference so it's kind of like half of that then it came with two of these kind of like longer two of these kind of like longer trays which again will be so handy for say like foundations concealers um anything basically that's long essentially and then it also came with these two bigger containers which i will probably be using for like my bronzers and blushers and kind of like more bigger compacts so it came with two of them it's gonna be so handy when organizing my makeup collection and i'm really excited to get started but i just wanted to sit down and show you them before we began just so you guys could kind of get a feel of the size and yeah, just so I could let you guys know where everything came from. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And if you want to see how I reorganize my makeup collection, then please. Okay, guys. So this is what we are looking at. Is just, as you can see, a whole mess of just makeup, essentially. Like, there is stuff absolutely everywhere this isn't going to be a decluttering video purely because i have recently decluttered i think it was around christmas time so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to figure out how many of these units fit into these drawers and then start sorting out i only have two drawers of makeup i say only that's probably a lot for some people but i'm kind of just over how i'm digging for stuff and just i want to be able to see everything like concealers and foundations are currently in this pot primers set and sprays in this one all lip products in there i've got all my small palettes my big palettes are in a drawer beneath, beneath but they're all organized so i'm not going near them this is like any eye product whatsoever this is all liquid cream powder blushers and highlighters this is liquid cream powder bronzers powders everything like that so as you can see it needs a very very big tidy up don't mind this corner here this is where like all the wires and everything are i don't know how to block this so we're just gonna ignore that but yeah i need to get figuring out what's gonna fit in here so i'm gonna prop these up and we're gonna get started okay we're in so as you can see, everything here really does need to be sorted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out obviously everything that is in these drawers and just really go and get everything out. As you can see, there's just palettes and palettes and palettes galore here. There's obviously, like I said, there is all these primers, everything 
there's some samples i think it's georgia armani foundation yeah like i haven't used this and i don't know how long here's obviously all the foundations i have no idea what this fur is by the way i just want to point that out i don't know what it is i don't know where it's come from so i'm just gonna actually quickly clean this drawer out what i am thinking for in here is obviously like i showed you not long ago i have these two acrylic pots what i'd like to do is i'd like to put my concealers and foundations in here in these ones and then maybe oh, see i just don't know how to do this okay so i'm gonna ha basically have to see what fits in there because uh, i also have the smaller ones as well um which i think i'm gonna use for my lipsticks and like lip liners but i don't feel too sure so let's just see what we can play with i'm gonna try my lip liners in here first because again i have so many lip liners i have so many lip liners as you can see that i just don't get around to using because i don't see them um so i'm thinking if i have I feel like I should put them in here, actually. All right, I'm gonna put all my lip liners in one of these larger tubs for now. Then we're on to lipsticks. Oh, I have two more liners. These are the Refi ones, like absolutely love these. They're gonna go in there. Then I think in this pot here, we're gonna do like lip glosses. Um, because I have a good few of them and kind of like these balmy lip balms. I think that's what we're going to put in here. Um, so then at least I can see those. And then I have got lipstick. So I think I will just put all my bullet lipsticks. Oh, actually, I've got these P. Louise ones. I think I'll put in first. I might need two pots for these actually. Um, yeah, I think I need two pots. My little sharpener. And, okay, I'm gonna do that for that pot. And then I'm gonna get one more of those pots. And put like all my Mac, basically any actual bullets. Bullet lipstick. These are Charlotte Tilbury. This one is P. Louise. And then obviously we have some MAC as well. So they're in there in the back. Nice and snug as a bug. I don't know what way to do these though. I think I might put them in the back like that as you can see these containers are absolutely manky so as you can see i have this one and like i said i kind of want to put foundations but my foundations are 100 percent not going to fit in there so i actually think we're going to need a bigger tub so i'm going to put that in there for now and we're going to actually go through and pop in all my foundations into this tub because the goal is to be able to see all of my foundations because at the moment as you can see the way it was stored before i couldn't see everything so therefore i wasn't getting around to using everything which is not what i want i'm just gonna have to play around about how to store these um yeah that should be okay okay so i've got all my foundations in here so we have like nars we have makeup by mario we have charlotte tilbury maybelline sculpted by amy and hourglass and i can see all my foundations there then i have like only two of these kind of like glowy products so i think actually i'm going to put them in here um although i won't be able to see everything at least we'll just be in here with them okay so then we're on to primers and satin spray so i think i'm going to use i have like a load of these small tubs i have a load of these small tubs that i could use for satin sprays because i don't have many satin sprays like there i only have three satin sprays so i feel like i could use that for that and then 
I could use another one. I don't know, guys. Then I have all these kind of like smaller primers. So could I fit all these in here? I could. I could fit all my primers in there. Well, maybe not all, but majority of them, actually. I think we're going to need a long one for these. Now that I think about it. Because I have this Say Glowy Gel and I'll be using that as a primer. And then I have like the Bobbi Brown Dupe from Pennies. What do we think about that? Bad idea? Good idea? Who knows? So that's usually what I have in my top drawer. I also need to fit concealers now. I'm not really liking, see how the back here, see how in the back here we have this long one? So I think I'm actually going to swap this tub out and put all my lip liners into kind of like the longer ones and put that in there so then at least they're all but now they don't fit hmm okay I'm gonna put my satin sprays in here okay so I've just changed it around a bit so as you can see I have primers over here foundations satin sprays and here, I'm gonna put some of, not some, I'm gonna put all of my concealers in here. Just to keep them all together. Like that. Cause then again, I just wanna be able to see everything that I own. Okay, so I'm happy with that drawer now. As you can see, I have primers, foundation slash glowier like skin products. Setting sprays, concealers, and then all my lip products. So we're gonna go with that for now for that drawer. Then with this drawer, this is where we're gonna have issues because as you can see, there is a lot of product and I wanna keep everything together. And I currently only have this big one and this one left. So we're gonna have to really condense everything there. So what I have left is this in terms of storage. Um, below these mini pots which I feel like we could use um it's just about finding everything and fitting everything so what I think I'm gonna do is in here I'm going to put all of my powders of everything purely because oh see i don't know and there's nothing in here i can put in that smaller pot unfortunately everything needs to be unless i can put maybe like my bullet lipsticks in this or is that just gonna be too annoying i could do it the other way actually i would have them standing up that I know what shades are looking at me. Oh, actually, great idea, Leah. Just want to throw that out there. So we've freed up another one of these. I think I could do the same for this one. Okay. That's two free pots now. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this now. So what I'm gonna do then is in here, I'm gonna put all my like cream products, like cream blushers, cream highlighters. They will fit lovely in there, so that's that. Then in this one, I'm gonna put all my cream bronzers. I don't have many cream well, I do actually I have loads of cream bronzers but I mean as in like I don't have um like an ex 
I was about to say, I don't have an excessive amount. I do have an excessive amount. No one needs this amount of product. So that's all my cream blushers and bronzers sorted into these two tubs. And now we're looking at powders here. So I'm gonna organize my powder bronzers first. Powder bronzers and powder blushers maybe. You might have to do it that way. I think this tub's gonna be all powder blushers, bronzers, highlighters. I might try to keep highlighters together and then blushes together, although I don't know how well this is gonna go. I'd love to keep these all separated, but I just don't think, like we don't have enough containers to separate them all. Looks so, like these are my highlighters. And then these are my blushers. I have quite a bit of blushers. Colors in the middle, I think. Black clothes, though. No. Okay, there are my blushers. Powder bronzer, powder highlighter, powder blushers. I would like them, like I said, to be organized better, but we just don't have enough containers at all. I thought we did, like I was convinced I'd have more than enough, but I obviously don't. Then in this one, I'm gonna have to put my powders, but again, I just don't know if we have enough room. Well, these are more like my minis and like not my most used powders. So I'm gonna put them in their own little, their own little world. That is that. Now I have just these pots left and these are gonna be for my mascaras and my eye products. So I have all my eye products here. So in here, I'm gonna do like brows. my brows perfect then in the next pot here I'm going to do all my mascaras I have quite a few mascaras so and I'm also going to put in my little frack pen and then in here I'm going to put all my eye bases which again, I really do not need this money. Fully aware, um, this is an eyeliner, so I'm gonna stick it in with the mascara. I think I might actually declutter these, even though I'm obsessed with these around like Christmas time and stuff like that. Actually, I'm gonna keep this, I love this. It's a little color pop eyeshadow, but like say the greens, when am I ever gonna use these? Never. And I know this is limited edition, but I just can't do it. So I actually am going to get rid of these because I'm not keeping a basket just to hold on to something that I never use. So these are what my drawers are looking like. Now, I do have like lashes and stuff like that um, that I will, I'm just going to pop to the back of this drawer here. I have like some face palettes here. So I have my Hourglass face palette that I will keep behind here because this is obviously where all my face stuff goes. I've got a few palettes here. We've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. Love her. Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Standard. Then we've got two Jaclyn Hill palettes. We've got Armin and Gorgeous, which is just such a me palette, so I'll be keeping her. And then the Jaclyn Hill um, Divine Neutrals, which again is such a staple for me, so I'm keeping that. Then we've got two Huda Beauty palettes. We've got her original, I think it's like rose gold edition palette and then her nude palette, love these. And then we've got some of my smaller palettes. So we've got like my Cash Beauty one. We've got the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes one and then the Colourpop New Mood. These are like my top three palettes. So they will be resting in here, waiting to be taken out. 
And that is everything that is in my makeup collection. Thank you guys for reorganizing this with me. I really appreciated the help, even though you weren't physically there. I'm happy with how this is laid out for now. I probably will end up buying more storage just so we can make sure that, you know, everything is like fitting properly. But as I said, primers are now all in here. Foundations are all in here. Setting sprays are now all in here. Concealers are all in here. Lip pencils, kind of lip balmy products my p louise paints and my bullet lipsticks are all there we've got powder bronzers powder highlighters powder blushers cream bronzers cream blushers and highlighters powders powders eye bases mascaras and anything to do with like eyeliner that type of thing and then we've got brows so guys that is everything for this video thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe and let me know if you would like a makeup collection where i go through every single product in there or let me know if you would like maybe in the future to do some decluttering videos please let me know um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye